Every time we flew away with the Doctor, we'd just become part of his life. He kept stood still long enough to become part of ours. Except once. The year of the slow invasion. Haven't you seen them? Invasion of the very small cubes. That's weird. I recommended we treat this as a hostile incursion. There are soldiers all over my house. I'm in my pants. We don't know how they got here, what they're made of, or why they're here. Whoa! What kind of a welcome to call that? Our best hope now is each other. Doctor. <laughs> what do we do? Choose. 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 Right, <clears throat> this video is about, um, but it's really about time and why we have to make a choice, why we have to choose between one thing or another. And I'm going to try and go some way to explaining that. It's like I can see this <clears throat> um, as in as in a construction. I can see the foundation and the walls and the roof, but I can't explain how they've done it. If that makes sense. So starting with Dr. Hughes' uh, cube here from the Power of Three series, I mean, that's self-explanatory really. If you've been watching Bill's stuff, you'll know as well. My point of, of um, showing this is they're here on the cube. It looks like a five, which it is, but it's it's mainly the symbol. I mean, we know Saturn's behind all this. That's a given at this point. There's the symbol of Saturn, not the seagull. That's different. The seagull or the seal is different. This is the symbol. There you go. You cut off that little X and you've got the five. It's the same thing. There's a celebrity. I think he might be Lenny Kravitz's daughter. I can't remember who's got this on her wrist. <clears throat> okay. Gears of time. Time is the trap. It's the fun it seems to be the fundamental thing they're keeping is in this illusion. Um, Hitler knew it. And um, you'll see in the next um, this from a video game. But Hitler knew it. There you go. Why would he put that um, sun wheel? You know that um, the sun cube there. Um, if he didn't know a little bit, why why has he made it into a gear? You know, so he knew. So there's another computer game, Gears of War, with the gear there and the the skull, which is what Hitler used as well. The Nazis they used the skull and crossbones, so yeah, makes sense. Um, it goes into the cycle of time. This is like your Olympic rings. It's why there's five rings on that Olympic um, logo. And why it's so important, Olympians and Titans and everything. But there, you can see the red and the blue, positive, negative. Um, here as well, introduction to the cycles of time. I mean, that's exactly the same as, as what Hitler was using virtually. So, you, you know, it's the cube. The cycles of time pertains to Saturn. Here, this one's telling you here. I, this one's. I found this today. It's really good. A generation and control. You can actually see the minuses and negative, the pluses and minuses, the positive and negative. If you look closely, you'll have to pause to get a closer look at that so back to the time lords because obviously doctor who which we started with is all about um the laws of time you're the time traveler if you look at the yeah there you can see that infinity sign we're going to go into a bit more in another vid but it's 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 the same as the, it's the six and the nine it's the same as the vortex spirals you see the vortex spirals and the um and that sign we're looking at now we're looking at the six and the nine are the same thing these time lords are obviously in the uh, the Yahoo, you know, uh, Yahweh colours, the purple and the gold. And if you look on their breastplate, there you'll see the same thing. <coughs> it represents time. It's um, you know, it's, it's it's the magic of time or whatever, however you want to call it. Um, here's the magician from the tarot cards. If you see, he's got the one hand up, one hand down. You can see the the infinity or the number eight above him. The same 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 symbol that was on those time lords. Um, you see in the centre of Baphomet, <clears throat> you're seeing with a one hand up, one hand down. This is a running theme, as above, so below. Uh, there you got the um, it's the Assyrian god that is that you see in the Exorcist. Same thing, and George Washington's doing the same thing there. There's, there's no end of um, images like that. There you got the tree of your life, as above, so below, with the same spiral, same spiral you see uh, on Pan's head in the Pan films. So back to this magician tarot card. The magician is the bridge between the world of the spirit and the world of humanity. This is where it starts to get interesting. For me anyway, I, as I was putting this together. If we go back to the Phoenician war, meaning hook, <coughs> excuse me, 
Um, it says um, there's a lot of things here. This goes back to why Manson put war on on those. Well, the Manson family put war on those bodies, and it goes back to Sandy Hook. Yeah, sand time, time hook, time war. Either way. Um, what's interesting is it says down the bottom there the word Ba'ab um, in Celestial Gate. The Phoenician hook also meant a celestial gate. Celestial means um, it's relating to heaven, basically, of, of heaven. <clears throat> so you're talking heaven's gate, <clears throat> as in the suicide uh, cult. Went heaven gate, heaven's gate crew. So celestial gate is heaven's gate. This is how the word Ba'ab meaning uh, extraterrestrial stargate or stairway to the heavens, hence the Tower of Babel. Um, it, it seems to me the humans back then with this Tower of Babel story were making some headway into escaping this bullshit. They knew about it, and so they built um, this tower or heaven's gate to storm the gates of heaven. Um, and the lords, lord or lords, scattered them across the earth, and gave them language with the priesthoods and, you know, gardens, fences, hedges, poles, pillars, boundaries, heads of Hermes, all that business. They, that's how they split us up and then went around. You see, only they, only the priesthoods, only the um, the um, interpreters could um, go around with the um, with the priests who were altering language from country to country, from boundary to boundary. You know, the... Um, the common people like yourselves, like like you and I, we um the plebs, the proletariat. We weren't allowed anywhere near there. You know, they had had full control for a long while now, and the only people who could pass were the priests who took with them a um interpreter, who was known as always a liar because they cheated. We're talking you see, this is what the, the Jews and money people. They cheated at the scales when they were doing business with them um, with others. Others, oh, kings as as we you were the lower downs, the um the aristocrats, to say, those, you know, akin to, to the gods, so to speak. So, um, yeah, where was I going to get to? Yeah, so there's another interesting thing here. Uh, the number six, meaning of the number six, and anarchist last Venetian alphabets. Um, so we know that they are the same. It's the same people, that's why it's the Purple Gang. The old Chicago Purple Gang, the bootleggers back in the day, you, you look into that. Elvis even sang about it in Jailhouse Rock. The whole rhythm section was the Purple Gang or something like that, it, it said. I think Bill brought it up a few years back. We'll go and look into the Purple Gang from Chicago and you'll see a bunch of um, Jewish uh, gangsters. Which is what these guys pretty much are, or were, or still are. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm just going get to get to, the number six is in, in, important. I'm going to go to the Kabbalistic Tree of Life. First of all, with the numbers associated to the planets on there, you'll see your three, six, nine, and one. One is Earth. Uh, three, Bina is Saturn. Six is the uh, the Sun, and uh, nine is the Moon. Which is interesting because there's your sixty-nine. The six is the Sun, um, and nine is the Moon. Now, if we just let it move on a little bit more, <clears throat> I mean. This is why this is why Jimi Hendrix sang "If Six Was Nine. You know the guy with the purple haze and foxy lady and electric ladyland. So if six was nine, if the sun was the moon, there you've got it. It's the sun and six and nine are the sun and the moon. Now this is this is what really what got me thinking. Um, this this is how they've hacked into this place, and this is this is where our time comes from there is no time as we've said before um future past and present are all happening at once so to, to, to outlay the, to try and get that in some kind of linear fashion they've, they've performed this hack using the sun and the moon they're blocking out the sun's light which is what i'm getting at this is why i made a video a while back about the sun being the moon sorry being the keystone Saturn being the chief corner, so we will come to that in a moment. But it's not by chance that when the eclipse happens, it blocks out the sun totally. It's been positioned between Earth's Earth and the sun precisely for that for that matter, and it's probably doing a lot more as well. <clears throat> but this leads me on to this passage from the Bible, which is uh, oh, a profound, profound passage. It's, it's a passage <clears throat> which I've been looking at and thinking about for a long, long. Well, for a good few good few months now, anyway. Jesus said unto them, um, "This this guy they call Jesus, um, that I know a few people who, who look at my stuff, but you know, um, 
you know, have as their saviour or whatever you want to call it. Um, <laughs> my opinion, my personal opinion is um, it's a metaphor, but that's not to say that there was a guy that did exist. Jesus was definitely not his name. That that goes without a shadow of a doubt. You haven't got to research for more than five minutes to find that out. But there was a guy, whether this was the Anarchy um, Enlil, because Enki was Enki and the rest were fuckers. It was Enlil, apparently, who had a more benevolent um, attitude towards uh, the race that created humans. Jesus said unto them, did you ever read the scriptures? The stone which the builders rejected, this became the chief cornerstone. So the chief cornerstone is Saturn. So the builders rejected, the stone the builders rejected, in my mind, would be the sun. This came about from the Lord. You see, there's a difference between God and the Lord God and lords. Not the same thing at all. And it is marvellous in our eyes. He's asking, question mark. This says to me, majority rule. He's talking to the people there, okay, with what he's saying. I mean, it definitely seems to be he knew. He was he was an insider, but a good one, because he knew how this shit worked. He's trying to warn everyone, look, you know, the light at the end of the tunnel ain't the way out. It, it's a fucking train coming, to um, paraphrase Jordan, one of Jordan Maxwell's favourite sayings, but it's true, you know, and it, it, it is usual mob rule. As democracy for you, it's, you know, that's, that's it. It's where the word idiot comes from. It comes from idios. It comes from back in Rome. The guy who went against the majority was known as the idios. I think that's, I think that's right. The actual pronunciation, but that's where idiot comes from. The guy who, who didn't go with the majority. So, um, yeah, it's great to be an idiot. Uh, storm the gates of heaven. This goes back to the, the Babel story. So it's just something I found. You can see it's, you got the woman there. So Saturn's in the electric chair. Um, everyone's dressed in black. You can see it's, it says the electric chairs and the S is uh, <clears throat> the um, space and time. It's been highlighted. Same thing as Metallica here with Ride the Lightning. Same thing. That's, that's the reality we live in. And this picture tells a million, a million stories. You see, you've got, um, you see, where, where, where the sun, I would say, used to be on the throne would, would be the boss in the big chair. It's now Saturn, the chief cornerstone, because the old one was rejected. And there you've got the demons, the winged ones, the gods, Elohim, whatever they are. That's what those little things represent there. And the wheels of time. You can see the wheel of time there, Ezekiel's wheel. And the cycles of time we're in. It's basically a time trap. It's basically where we're at. Which is what this says here. Yeah, time trap. <coughs> There's your planet X, <coughs> Saturn, the black sun. Got the um, energy radiating off it. Um... And you can see uh, they've, the, the way they've, they've, they've done this, the time trap, as you can see, it's just cycles. So you've got spacemen and going back here, yeah, you've got medieval people all the way back to the dinosaurs. So it's just a cycle that keeps going round and round and round. Um, these little things I've highlighted are, are bells, as in bell Saturn. And that's what I've done with the rest of the video. It's just basically left it to um, for you to read and look at. And um, some stuff we've already covered, basically. Um, yeah, it's the electrical nature of where we're at, at the moment. Um, something you know we've got to deal with because that's 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 the reality real, reality of it right now. There seems to be, you know, Saturn um, gives off far more, radiates more energy than, than what it gets off the sun. So I'm pretty convinced the sun may maybe being positive energy is 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 it's it's sucking the energy from the sun and and converting perhaps because it's definitely sucking negative energy from earth that's what all the sacrifice of children is through the years you know you're you, um you're um sandy hook and posner and all that business and and all the rest of it there's loads of examples it goes right back to the mains and the young virgins you know what are young virgins the children so you know there's something about prepubescent teens the energy that killing them and the fear negative energy creates that, that they need to keep this flow open or to keep it boosted to keep this reality going um you see a black box is a transformer this cube of saturn this black box is a transformer you'll see it on the old power leads of, of pcs and computers you know laptops um it, that's what it does it transforms the power so for me that would be the ultimate power grab <laughs> really